The route you see on this map is the most accessible. The Waterwheel Car Park is located on Chester Street and is the car park for the Wellbeing Hub. There are plenty of disabled spaces and as you can see there is priority parking for visitors accessing the Wellbeing Hub. Priority passes are available from the Wellbeing Hub and must be clearly displayed. The path from the car park to the Wellbeing Hub entrance is on a slight slope downwards. There are wooden benches outside the entrance. When entering the Wellbeing Hub, the doors open automatically and a slight lip is on the threshold. Please be mindful of where the doors open. There is a dark carpet that is ribbed in the entrance. There is also a selection of sanitary projects for people to help themselves to, should they need them. Welcome to the Wellbeing Hub. My name's Stacey and I'm the Wellbeing Hub Manager. I'm Harry and this is Nick and we're the Wellbeing Hub Advisors. The Wellbeing Hub is located in Wrexham City Centre on the ground floor of the newly refurbished Crown Buildings. Our aim is to provide a wide range of activities aiming at prevention, helping people to achieve happy, healthy lifestyles for as long as possible. Nick and Harry are on hand to provide information, advice and guidance on a wide range of wellbeing services. We are a warm hub, so feel free to pop in for a coffee and a chat about what wellbeing means to you. Let's have a look around. This is Meeting Room 2. It is available to book by statutory and third sector organisations. It has a table and chairs with arms and a monitor. Please ask if you require a chair without arms and we can arrange that. To exit the room, there's a green push button by the door. In the communal area, you will find iPads, which can be used to get online to find community activities, to complete online training, or simply to complete an online form. The training area is a great space for organisations and community groups to meet or to run workshops and training sessions. There's a portable screen which can be used should it be required. The book nook has a selection of toys for families to use. Children must be supervised at all times. Community Room 2 is a bookable space that can be utilised for activities with children or babies. It has plenty of toys which are available to use. There is also a kitchen attached to the room with all the usual amenities. The hob and sink are height adjustable, making them more accessible. There is a fire blanket next to the door. Community Room 3 is another bookable space with tables and chairs. 
Room layouts can be adjusted with prior arrangement. There is a portable screen and a large interactive screen fixed to the wall. The chairs do not have arms and there is extra seating available should it be needed. Community rooms 2 and 3 can be merged into one big room by removing the partitioning wall. There is a change in places toilet in community room 3. As you can see, there are two emergency pull cords, one near the sink and one near the toilet. Should these be accidentally activated, the reset button is situated next to the hoist. The sink is height adjustable using the remote control on the right hand side. There are two toilets, one of which is height adjustable and has a BD. There is a ceiling track hoist, changing bench and shower. There are also fixed grab rails around the sink and toilet as well as drop down grab rails by the toilet. There is also a fold down baby changing mat. The outdoor play area can be accessed through community room 2 and is available to use by anyone booking the room. The play area has rubber safety flooring, multi-level play areas and sensory areas to explore. There are chalkboards and whiteboards around the perimeter. The fire exit can be found in community room 2 through the door shown and through the push bar fire exit. The fire assembly point is located in the peace garden to the rear of the wellbeing hub. The fire alarm is tested every Monday at 10am and will sound like this. There is also flashing lights above the alarms to alert people with a hearing impairment. The pods in the communal areas are used for quieter conversations to create a more private space when having a discussion with one of the many organisations that utilise this space. An example of one of the organisations that use this space are Communities for Work, who provide one-to-one -one mentoring and advice to help you into employment, education and training. The Wellbeing Hub is also home to Wrexham Family Information Service, who provide advice and guidance to mums, dads and carers of children and young people from pregnancy until their child's 20th birthday. The main toilets are situated behind the reception desk. There are three unisex toilets and another changing places toilet. This changing places toilet has a height adjustable toilet, 
a sink, drop down grab rails, fixed grab rails, a ceiling track height, changing bench and emergency power cords. It also has a baby changing mat. The clinic room is used by healthcare professionals for appointments. There are chairs without arms in the room and to exit there is a green push button on the left hand side of the door. Meeting Room 1 is another bookable space for statutory and third sector organisations. It has sofas, an armchair, a table and chairs with arms. To exit this room there is a green push button on the right hand side of the door. The waiting area has a variety of sofas, armchairs and chairs. If these chairs are not suitable for you, please let a member of staff know as there are a variety of chairs available. There is a coffee table in front of the corner sofa with a range of information leaflets. There is a table filled with games and puzzles. Tea and coffee is also available. The sensory room is available to book for half an hour sessions for members of the general public. To find out more about availability and book, please contact the Wellbeing Hub. The sensory room has an extra wide doorway that will accommodate wide wheelchairs, power chairs or double push chairs. There is a ceiling track hoist which is operated by a remote control. There is a wide range of sensory lights and features accompanied by relaxing music to create a calming space for you to explore. If you would prefer to use your own music, you can Bluetooth your own device. There are also more toys available should they be required. The cafe is a great space to meet people. There is plenty of seating with a variety of solid wood chairs with and without arms and a sofa. The cafe also has high chairs available and a soft play area. The kitchen in Community Room 1 is fully accessible 
with extra wide opening doors to accommodate any wheelchair or power chair. The sink and hob are height adjustable to accommodate your needs. These can be operated by pushing the button on the front of the unit as shown. Community Room 1 has a large open space with table and chairs. There is a large portable screen and a flip chart board. There are also roll down blinds on the windows. and another changing places toilet next to the doorway into the room. In the changing places toilet, there are hooks on the wall to place personal items. A fold down baby changing mat and nappy bin. A height adjustable sink, which is operated using the remote on the right hand side of the sink. There are also fixed grab rails on either side of the sink wall. A hand dryer and a paper towel dispenser are on the wall next to the foldable privacy screen. There is a ceiling track which is operated by remote control. The toilet is height adjustable and has B-Day features and pull down grab rails and fix grab rails around the toilet. There are sanitary products on the shelf on the left hand side of the toilet above the sanitary bin. There is a shower to the right of the toilet and a fold down height adjustable changing bench on the adjacent wall. The emergency pull cords can be activated in an emergency to alert staff if you need assistance. Should this be activated by accident, it can easily be switched off by pressing the button next to the hoist. There is also a push bar fire exit from the cafe to the front of the building, which is accessible for wheelchair users.